shit yeah. on a little kid. <laughs> I shit on a little kid. That's a great way to start the stream. Hi, everybody. I shit on a little kid. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know how it started. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, I was trying to get it back up, and I just shut down the OBS software and restarted it. So. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, so enough of shitting on little kids. Hey, Get the back deserved it. <laughs> I just misheard you. <laughs> All right. So we are back. Oh, what a night. <laughs> and we are trying to figure out how the hell... To get up there. No. I can't climb that. Uh. Ah, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> Did I did. Ha ha! Oh. Found a sextant. In the early 19th century, this was used to measure the angle between an astronomical wow. object and the horizon for the purposes That's of celestial navigation. How much did you charge you? Yeah. For that sextant. My sextant? Yeah. Hear that, Chuck? Sextant. Ooh, a sex tent. Sex in a tent. Woohoo! <laughs> no reaction. No reaction. Nothing. He, he's been gross in his television show, Luke Cage or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Is it Luke Cage or the new season of uh, of uh, Iron Fist? Uh, he's wa been watching. Oh, yeah, I'm watching that next. Oh, pfft. there he goes. Hi, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, big long time no here. I know it's because you guys are like, like hiding out or something. No, that's you. <laughs> Last time I heard your voice, you were building a computer. Yeah. <coughs> All right, where? Oh, there it is. Found it. There's an inscription here to my son Jack. May you never lose sight of your horizons. There we go. All right. So now we have to find our way down. Or we could just fall. That works too. Well, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Hi, Vault Girl. Sorry, is that me echoing? Howdy, howdy. Hello. It's probably off of my office somewhere. Peruvian jungle. What was the last Tomb Raider game that Rise we played? What was that? Um... Rise of the Tomb Raider. Uh, uh... It was the one. Uh... It's just called Tomb Raider by Square Enix. Yeah. So that was the first one. And then you had Rise of the Tomb Raider, which was a sequel. Oh, okay. And then now we have Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Oh. Okay, so if the same people made it, it's going to be similar to this one then, right? Yes, absolutely. Now, does it have a multiplayer? Yeah. No. Uh, no, See, the is... first one did. It had a, um, like a PvP mode. I don't remember that. Yeah. <laughs> yep, online multiplayer, two to eight players. Huh. Yep. I actually got kind of good at that PvP in this uh, Tomb Raider game. Me and my husband played this one together. So we have two copies of it on disc. Not this one. No, 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 the very first one, yeah. You won't even let me jump off the cliff, guys. It's like, no, you really don't want to go that way. 
No, but I do. My thing is right over there somewhere. Inside the wall or on the other side of the wall. <gasps> oh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, you swim. Ooh, yeah. Nope, not that way. Hmm. Um, this background noise is too much of it. Just let me know and I'll try, I'll mute myself. <sighs> I can't remember if we could swim in the first one or not. My savings did not save. Okay. You have to find collectibles in this forest. I remember there was things hanging from a tree. Oh yeah. Shoot with our arrow, and they were so hard to see. At least for me. <clears throat> Are you guys getting an echo again? On the game, on I, the screen? I did hear one. Uh, I can mute myself and see if it's me. No, no, no. Uh, it's, a, it's not that kind of an echo. Oh. I did hear one a minute ago, but I can't hear one now. I'm not really hearing one, though. Okay. As long as you guys aren't hearing it. Oh, it matters. I think Time Lord said it was coming from his, but I think he might have fixed it. Well, I had my uh, uh, computer speakers out a little bit, so there might have been a little echo from that, but I turned it down. So. Uh, okay. No, I wasn't hearing an echo, but we were having echo issues earlier. Oh. I'm getting it all mixed up. Ooh, I'm just seeing your new your pictures of your new setup, Dick. I'm just not seeing the pictures. Ooh, it looks so nice. I want little dust. Looks like it's doing you good. Yeah. How on earth is that last screen? What's supporting that? I can't even see. <laughs> I actually have um, two uh, arms. I have one arm on this side that's holding these two monitors. Oh. And then I have another arm that I've actually put at the back of the center monitor over here. And that arm reaches all the way over and holds this, this third monitor. So. Ah. I did it so that the arms were kind of symmetrical on the desk. I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah, that was good. Alright, so underneath is not the way to go. I was thinking like underground cave or like a swim cave. But there's more water over here. Can we swim in this water? Or are we just splashing in this water? Just splashing in this water. Ah, these are gonna drive me crazy. You know what? Let's do this. Let's go over to the other side and then look back. Ooh. 
<laughs> See, I knew there was a ledge that we could get to over here. Haha. <laughs> Room action going on here. Looky, looky. What? It won't let me open it because I don't have lock uh. Uh. That's a rip off. Fawcett's last letter. My dear Lena. Once, Once again, again, the attempt, attempt to write is fraught with difficulty. However, those flies and bees and bugs galore that I wrote over for, all of those pinhead-sized stinging horrors, what would have been a welcome attrition out by face down, tooth and claw. Yeah, I fought bravely, yep, yep, yep. but the confrontation did not go in my favor. I will spare you the details out of compassion and not egotism. <laughs> my wounds have been packed with yarrow and a stable, but I can feel infection in the blood. If you were reading this, then you know I would not survive this place. I instructed Jack not to go on. We lost young Rimmel a few weeks ago. This place, Nina, is not meant for the likes of men, and I will not rob you of a son as I have a husband. I am tired now. Jack is sleeping by the fire, and I am certain that when he awakes, I will have slipped into my own slumber. I love you, Nina. Good night, Percy. Wow. Twelve more to collect. Got me some gold doubloons or whatever they are. So, lockpick. But this is a conquistador chest. It contains rare resources and ancient artifacts. So, so we will have to come back for lockpicks. Or with lockpicks. But now we know how to get there. Hmm. There's probably no easy way. <coughs> no, don't do that. Kind of the only way is down. chest is the only thing that we're missing in this section. That's a big map. This document we will grab because that's that's our path out. So the only other thing we're missing is over here. So we need to go to this base camp. Ooh, I got two skill points. Unlock the skill through story progression. Cool. Some nice story rewards there. Use focus plans to improve reaction response and slow down time when aiming. All right. Let's do that one. Hold left bumper and tap X to use the focus herbal mixture. Focus improves reaction responses and slows down time one. Amy. Hey, Andreas. What do we unlock? Scales of the Serpent 3. Scales of the Serpent 2. 
All right, cool. Uh, what is this one up here? Large capacity ammunition and resource satchels now available to purchase from merchants. All right. So, we've discovered all four camps, two tombs, one challenge completed, one treasure chest, which we can't get to without the lockpicks, one sarcophagi, seven of nine relics, eleven of thirteen documents, five of seven murals, six of nine survival caches, and one monolith. And there is the monolith. So, we will jump to this base camp. <clears throat> so how's daybreak treating you, Denise? Uh, it's really hard. It's really difficult. Especially without our little modded weapons. <laughs> right, because it's not even you're not even playing with your community members, are you? I say what now? You're not playing with your community members? Yeah, you're just given some random red talon soldier with random weapons and the weapons aren't bad, but the the thing that's lacking is the um, health. You hardly get any health. Gotcha. And um, uh, the little kits that repair your walls. So, and one juggernaut, if he hits it once, it like blows it up. So, <laughs> yeah. The trick is to go out in the field and kill the zombies before they actually get to your wall to damage it. I got you. So, I kind of figured that out by playing it a little bit. Have you seen any of the videos that have been posted on YouTube about it? Not yet. Okay, uh, if you get a chance to, uh, I've actually been watching a few of the videos. Uh huh. Came out and everything, and it kind of shows you what to expect with it and how to try and handle it. And, and once you go for in between like uh, rushes of uh, or waves, <clears throat> you can actually run out to these like collection points, get the stuff from there, and then there's uh, stuff inside there too. Yeah. Well, I'll run out to those little things, but the thing is, is that everyone races out there to them, and, you know, I'm racing the one, and if the guy gets there before me, he gets everything out of it, and I don't get anything. So, I think that's yeah. kind of... So, at the end, did say, you know, like, how with the, uh, normal game, you actually use, uh, what are those points? Um, influence points? <laughs> There's a different kind of points that you get. Uh, later on, you can actually uh, use the girlfriend to buy uh, things like, you know, uh, for your base in the game. Like red talent uh, buildings and equipment and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. The more stuff you unlock, the more it can be unlocked in your main game, yeah. But I'm, ta I'm talking about just surviving through the, the horde mode, the waves oh, and everything. Yeah. They just don't give you enough stuff to be able to do it. <clears throat> Unless you've got a really, really good team and everyone knows what their jobs are. Yeah, it's it's mm. virtually impossible to do with random people that have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> or you can basically do it with yourself and just the uh, NPCs. Yeah, there's like an achievement to get through all six waves in single player, and I'm like, there's no way that's happening. <laughs> nope. Well, you would actually be the only uh, continuous player. Yeah, I know. Else would be the player, so. yeah, I've tried to go out there and uh, when I was playing single player to collect all the little doohickeys that, that go in the field, and there's no way that you have enough time to go out there. And first of all, you don't have enough room in your inventory to carry all the supplies. Oh, yeah. And then you don't have enough time to go back out there and get the other two or three supply boxes that have stuff in it that you need. So, so it's yeah. like you gotta have them so much in the floor. Well, they will usually run off to try and get the, uh, 
you know, the drops, uh, the drop offs and stuff. Look at Big getting all fancy and stuff with a transparent background. Transparent? <laughs> oh, you're talking about what's this little box there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that achievement. We're proud 40, of you, Big. 40 gold war. It's like, look, mom, no hands. Yeah. Yeah, quite literally. No hands. No one's been through, through here in years. years. All this show has on it is this one crazy black lady, and all she does is scream, like, the whole time. <laughs> I'm like, why are you watching this show? She's like insane. May we Max be the first voice we hear in the afterlife. And may her stories comfort us. That makes you kind of wonder what kind of shows are coming out these days. <laughs> yeah, but this, that was in the, the original comic book or whatever. If this show is even based off a comic book series. Are you talking Luke Cage? Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. And all those Netflix shows are tied in with uh, the MCU. So they'll make reference to, you know, what's going on in the Avengers and stuff like that. Right, they're like all connected in their shows. Yeah. Not just the shows, but the movies. Oh, the movie too. Huh? Yeah, it's like you see one that actually runs into another show, and then that show runs into the other one, and then to another, to another. Hmm. Yeah, we had the first four seasons. We had Daredevil, uh, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and Iron Fist, and then they did a season or a series of The Defenders, which is all four of them together. And then we got season two of Daredevil. We got season one of Punisher, which was awesome. The only one that I've gotten into watching is um, the, the Green Arrow. I about the only one I'll I think this is the out. Watch. <laughs> yeah, and that's DC. That's not even Marvel. Oh yeah, that's totally Ooh, different. Can't can't carry hey, Cupid. And if you're watching, I don't have enough space that. And if you're watching Green Arrow, then you need to be watching The Flash, uh, Legend of the But I've watched a little bit of the Legends of Tomorrow um, here and there, and some Flash shows here and there, but... Like I said, he, he keeps up on it all, but I only keep up on Green Arrow. <laughs> so I really like Felicity, but now she's like kind of getting on my nerves a little bit. <laughs> uh, Charles just found out today that Henry Cavill is not going to be playing Superman anymore in the movies. I'm okay with that. I didn't care for him. Yeah, they uh, had some contract I dispute. I think differ. <laughs> you can differ all you want. <laughs> I just... In my opinion, I didn't like him as Superman. <laughs> There's nothing to differ with. <laughs> um, He's not Christopher Reeve, but he, he did a good job, in my opinion. Uh, I, I just... I can't see anyone but Superman as Christopher Reeve. I mean, that's it. I mean, there's been some that's been close, like... Um, who was that guy, Brennan Ralph? Yeah. I thought he did a good job. <laughs> Which is even funnier because when they did the crossover between Legends of Tomorrow and Supergirl, mm -hmm. because he played Superman and now he plays yeah. the, the other guy on Legends of Tomorrow, and they yeah. were talking about Supergirl, and she goes, man, she reminds me of... of of my my niece or my sister or something like that and he goes really she reminds me of my cousin 
because he was Superman at one point, you know, so I thought that, that was pretty funny. Ah, <laughs> uh, Victor says, what about Dean Cain as Superman? I'm trying to fix the echoey thing, JPEG. That's why I kind of stopped here. Oh, Dean Cain was all right. I think he was a little bit too subdued. <laughs> Became Supergirl's dad in the show Supergirl. <laughs> I don't know, I just. Christopher Reeve just seemed to have, have it all, you know? Because I remember watching that when I was a little girl. I was like, when I grow up, I'm going to marry Christopher Reeve. <laughs> What was that guy that actually played uh, uh, Superman, you know, in that uh, show, was it Smallville? Oh. Who was that? Um, What's his name? Tom, Tom Welling. Welling? Yeah. Tom, Tom, Tom Welling. Welling. Well, well, Welling. Sorry, excuse me. Good lord. Bite my head off, why don't you? <laughs> yeah, because I think in an episode or something like that, they showed Tom hey, Welling Plaz. actually meeting up with, uh, hey, Plaz. um, who, uh, with, uh, Christopher Reeves. Reeve. I think yeah. there was like an episode where that happened. Yeah, Christopher Reeve. <laughs> <laughs> My husband just said that, Christopher Reeve. Oh, okay. My mistake. I'm like half out of it. That's all good. Hey, because George Reeves. <laughs> Was the original TV Superman? Yeah, you know? which I thought was always ironic that their their names were almost similar. Uh, yeah. Exactly, you know. <laughs> yeah. Still seeing. I'm seeing the echo now, JPEG. Just trying to figure out how to fix it. Cody, is that our Cody? Cody, yes. the modded weapons yeah. Cody. It's not happening, Cody. At least not for a few days. Cody, I tried joining you earlier, but your your game was full up. I played it a little bit earlier, but woo! Phoenix needs help. Yes. Give her help. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> so I've got what is it? You get uh, we get always get to wave four, and then that's when it all goes to shit. Because <laughs> you've got like the blood plague. Um, Yeah, that's uh, for some weird reason my software is it's putting my Discord and my game audio on the same uh, output on my computer, and I don't know why. <laughs> Rainbows, that's so funny. Are you talking about like on each of the superhero shows? It seems they just have to have to throw a gay couple in there somewhere. <laughs> Is that what you mean? <laughs> I'm pretty sure those weren't in the original comics. <laughs> Nothing against gay people. I mean, I lived with a gay man for four years, so, you know. I know what you're talking about. Some of the themes are just kind of unrealistic. <laughs> Our conversations in the shows totally off kilter. Yeah, Charles makes mention of that sometimes. It's like, God. <laughs> Victor, you sure are doing a lot of shouting tonight. Well, he knows I have bad eyesight. What, so you can't read lowercase? 
Yeah, but it's just easier on the eyes for me to read caps, actually. I've never minded why people type in caps because I can see it better. <laughs> I'm like, they're not shouting. They're just making it way easier to read. <laughs> no. No, because he just said, you know how to fix all superhero shows, all in low caps. <laughs> just saying. All right, let's see if we can do this again. not to talk too much about my beliefs but you know sometimes things just get on your nerves so bad you have to just vent <laughs> same as on xbox yeah like creamy peanut butter <laughs> how dare they name it that norm mcdonald i don't know that i know a norm mcdonald you don't what <laughs> what how do you not know norm mcdonald i don't know well give me a hint you know give me some Meat and potatoes. Oh, a comedian. Okay. Okay. He's a comedian and. Is he old, young? How do you get the. The or you think because you need it for the relay tower. I don't know. I mean, is it something that you unlock later on? I, I don't I don't know what a clear core is. Because I was just joining in random people's games and I didn't really know what was going on, so I was just shooting and killing zombies. And repairing the walls, of course. It was canceled from a late night show because of what he said about the Me Too movement. Oh my goodness, you're kidding me. Well, also, I'll uh, tell you that Burt Reynolds died. Oh, Burt Reynolds passed away? Mm -hmm. It was like a week ago. Oh, was that like a week ago? Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah, it was like Monday. Oh, okay. Feels like a week ago. Vic. Get it right, Vic. <laughs> oh, Lord. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. There we go. Shit. What a pain in the ass this is. Is your little picture box supposed to be blinking on and off, Vic? Yes. Oh, okay. Just want to make sure it wasn't my internet messing up again. No, it's all good, JPEG. I need to get it fixed, so. <clears throat> yeah, no, uh, Ramos, they, um, they banned... Alex Jones, which I Yeah, it's funny because um, there's still a video out there um, 
you know, with death threats against my family, and they still haven't taken that down. It's allowed to stay up. It's been up for what eight years now, or something. <laughs> All right. We should be better. Let me double check here. I think he was adjusting some stuff. There. All right, talk, Denise. Testing, testing. One, two, three. All right, so we should be good now. Turns out it was a cacophony of errors or issues, rather. But thank you for pointing it out, JP. Sounds horrible. Uh -oh. Which part, Plaz? You're gonna have to be a little bit more specific than that, brother. <laughs> Sounds horrible. Like our voices sound horrible. Or the audio sounds horrible. I don't get it. <laughs> Do I sound horrible? Probably. Yeah, you well, yeah, it's it's you. It's it's all your fault, Gary. I do it. Kidding, right. <laughs> we like just kidding. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Richard. Welcome back, Richard. Welcome back. Make some game noise, Vic. <laughs> In game audio is shiny again. It's sounding good on my end. Alright. Twitter ban Owen. Ah, uh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Down in the well, I've never heard of those two, but yeah, that's too bad. I just don't know why they're doing that to people. I mean, I could take a wild guess, but that would uh, start a whole nother conversation. <laughs> hey, JP, how the hell are you? All full up. Can't carry any more. Ow, that looks painful. I should be able to reach the sarcophagus now. Shit, I'll have to keep climbing. I oh, know, this is so messed up. <laughs> No, it's not funny, but it's just so ridiculous. It's just laughable. Was that enough noise for you? <laughs> I don't even know. Well, I've got to mute it because it would have echo. No wonder I can't hear it. Yeah, you seem like you've been work working... Uh, a lot more this week, Chapek. Oh, is that a shrunken head? Look at that thing in the middle. Better be pretty. Throw <laughs> it out. That was a hell of a ride. But and that's a 
big, but I think there was some other wall that I had to look at up there. Should not have done hey. that. Jump the thing Don't in. make it fun of my butt. <laughs> big butt, get it? Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen your butt, so I wouldn't make fun of it. I did that. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, yeah, Coach, if you even miss my yeah. little. Oh. I was so hurt. Oh. Oh my god, she died. Yeah, oh yeah. What a horrible death. Oh my god. Way horrible death. Did you see the look on her face? Good lord, what a horrible death face. Some of the worst ones is when she gets impaled on a branch. Oh my god. Lord. Well, now that you said it, you're gonna have to kill yourself on a branch to show it to me. No, not happening. <laughs> the heathen Why emperor are you so begged for his life to be spared. He offered the Spanish crown a room of three by six varas to be filled once <laughs> over with gold and twice dark. with silver. The crown, with it great and undue benevolence, horrible. accepted this offer. Horrible death. Within two months, the ransom had been paid. The idolater, however, could not be trusted. When the cursed plans of his general surprise attack were exposed, Atawalpa fell to his knees, begging for mercy. His fate would be decided by fair trial, as the right of any man in the Spanish Empire. He was found guilty and sentenced to die. But before the execution, he accepted the Lord and will be welcomed in the heavens above. Excerpt from an objective account of Pizarro in Peru by Ochoa Aceves. What did that guy say? Huh? All right. I've so, known your family for years. Looks like I've the only thing we need to get here is the survival cash. <laughs> So it was actually fortuitous that I died because it, it put me back up here. So the last <laughs> on that ridge and then come up down. some move there. Don't fix your hair. You're gonna get wet again. <laughs> She's all fixing her braid. Come on now. This is a way to try to humanize her a little bit. Yeah. You seem more real. Yeah, if I was her, I just wouldn't care about my hair. I'd probably shave it all off and it's gonna go be Indiana Jones. <laughs> I 
that way I wouldn't have to worry about it. Seems like that would make the most sense. I wonder if their ponytail easily gets Yeah, I think it may have been a bird's nest, JPEG. We'll check it again since we're right up here. Oh no, it's gold. Ha ha. And there is something on the ground too behind me. So. Yeah. Ooh, you get to like yeah, mine for it. Oh, that's cool. Now, this whole area is done. Now we just gotta hit this monolith here. And I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't see it the first time either. I just saw that feather, the one that you saw, so. That is a feather stiff as a board. So, we need to go here. Hey, Naomi, welcome back. Naomi's back. Welcome back. Yeah, I think it's time for me to head out, too. All right, brother. You guys have a great night. You, too. And I will catch you tomorrow or whenever the next event is. Sounds good. Good night, chat. Miss you all. Night, Denise. Good night, Gary. I ran to the bathroom quick. Sorry. <laughs> Good night. Good night. So she needed Jonah to lift that up before, but now she can just crawl right underneath it? That doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Oh shit. Oh yeah, just smashing against the rocks. Nice. Oh lord. Uh oh. Did you just die? <laughs> oh yes. no. Oh, J Pick, you missed an epic little scene that we had uh, going on earlier when Lara was having a dream of when she was a kid. She was remembering when she was a child. And it was pretty epic. Class man. <laughs> it's like, what was you thinking? <laughs> it's not the step. Even though you took the step the first time you came through here, now you have to take the ridge. So the ridge thingy wasn't there before? Well, you didn't use it because it was part of the storyline. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Please describe something nearby. Two serpents guard life and death. I lie trapped within their eternal struggle. Rock and roll. Two serpents, blah, blah, something, something. 
At oh, last. there it is. Found it. Monolith is done. So we have one more challenge, which is what was this challenge over here? Flower picker. Three of five plants collected. Could be. And what's this other thing that we're missing here? What is that? Okay, I'm back. It is... A crypt. Oh, there's an additional crypt. Oh yeah, because there's way more to search. All right. I need to keep heading this way, get to the next campfire. Come to a dead stop to crawl through the vines. <laughs> yeah. Um, Cortana, fucking leave me alone. That blade is actually just a piece of the uh, the propeller from the plane. Hmm. Um, you know, JPEG. I'm I. I'm not sure. So we have to jump back over to this campfire to get rid of this challenge because I can't let that set. I don't know if there's like homes over there. Oh shit. There's the camp. Oh, we got new, um. Is it a new outfit that we got? I thought we got like a cape or something like that. Didn't we get a cape? Oh, I have to craft it. It was a tunnel. Oh, nice. Perception duration. Increases duration of perception herb effects. Requires Eye of the Eagle skill, which I have. And this gives me enemies take longer to detect you. Well, shit. Let's craft it. Ooh. Gain additional plant and mineral crafting resources from each source. Reduce noise from running. I think I'll stick with the reduce noise from running. Yeah, she's going ultra tribal now.
So anyway, in the, in her dream of when she was a child, she was in the yard at Croft Manor, and she had like this jungle gym that was shaped it like it was like the bow of like a pirate ship and had a mast and all this stuff. It was pretty cool. We're like, hey, look, this is what JPIC's yard looks like. <laughs> I think we're looking for these bags here. No? So then what the hell am I looking for? Three of five. Oh, that's the nest that I hit. Okay. So that's the one I'm trying to do there. I have to collect plants. Lovely. So let's do this. Full up. Can't carry any more. Mm. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. here. One more. Got it. Ha -ha. All right. Oh, dude, she's been attacked by jaguars already. More than one. Where do they, Where do you think she got those stylish boots from? All right, so we got everything. Now, of course, we're still missing documents and stuff like that, but that's all right.
There's Jonah. Eighteenth of July. I awoke this morning at the sight of my father wringing his handkerchief tightly between his two hands. Wide-eyed and unblinking, he stared in Raleigh's direction. Raleigh had passed. Infection had set into his wounds days ago and shortly after, fever took hold. Between fits of cold sweats, laboured groans of pain, and demented ramblings, Raleigh had somehow been able to insist on forging ahead. Father had tried to reason with him, telling him to turn back, to let us carry the torch, but Raleigh made it clear. Turning our backs on him would have been leaving him there to die. We forged ahead. We were as far away from civilization as we had ever been, and we foolishly continued to trudge forward. So long, old friend. Okay, no, not really. So we got all the documents, all the relics. We hit everything except one crypt so far. And the conquistador chest that we don't have lockpicks for. What do you think we'll find in Kuakiaki? Running water would be nice. I think at this point, I'd settle for no jaguars. <laughs> If I tried that shit, it fucking gut me. So, and of course, I had already gotten everything. So the archivist map did nothing. Yeah. That's all right, though. There's a road. Let's check it out. He doesn't notice her new cape, doesn't say nothing about it. What's going on? Shit, Trinity, get down. Damn. Truck stuck. I can see that. What are we doing about Follow it? Follow my lead. How the hell am I supposed to know? What are you doing? Get back. Hide. You're the logistics guy, aren't you? I'm not the one who drove onto a rotting bridge. Oh, hold up. I got them. Hold on, they're friendlies. But keep your eyes Someone open. should check back there. I'll do it. Put it right there. Make sure nothing can get through. I want this whole area sealed off. Yes, sir. If there's anything here, we're going to find it. Last time this thing was serviced. This is rusty. Don't get distracted, Mendez. What are we looking for here? Anything that moves. Anything that doesn't. They still didn't find that relic. I'd love to be the guy that does. Not me. Why not? You'd be a hero. I'll be dead more likely. No thanks. I'll keep sitting here looking for hostiles. Less talking, more looking, gentlemen. Get off your asses. Yes, sir. 
What's your team doing? I'll check. We're not paying them to sightsee. We'll have to go under. Yeah. We know there's the main temple. What we're looking for is any smaller ruins Wait. you might have missed before. Okay. It's really wedged in there. I'm afraid if we move it, we'll lose it. We're gonna have to reinforce the bridge. It'll be tough to find something to so Why didn't you test the bridge like I told you? Oh, I'm pretty sure we did test the bridge first. Now fuck off. I'm not covering for you. Maybe we can pull it out. <laughs> okay, maybe. Let me think about that. We can take them. All right. If you go left, I'll take these guys. What in God? Hide. Dave, Sammy. Oh, those guys. I told them to test the bridge first. Son of a... Dave! Dave! Sammy! Jesus! No, you don't! I was hoping to run into. Ugh, my arm is so itchy. That means it's healing. I might have liked it better when it was injured. Oh, I know. I'm just trying not to think about my back. I don't have enough space you know, for that. My grandmother survived a tsunami in the 60s. What happened? She lost friends. Her family lost their business. But after that, she could feel things coming. Volcanic eruptions, storms, other things. Hey, Ryan. Um, give me just a second here. There you go. All full up. Can't carry any more. No, thank you. I think that'd make me puke. Nice. That did it. Come on, let's go. 
Any idea what the twins in that riddle are? Could be anything. A pair of monuments or mountains or streams. I suppose we'll know it when we see it. Yeah. I see people down there. Hope they're friendly. I'll let you do the talking. Oh. I'm sorry to ask so many questions, but the only B&B in town is my place. Oh, you can't be too careful. By the way, I'm Jonah. Abby. Lara. Come in, have a seat. Carlos, three. <sighs> so... What are you here for exactly? Well, we were following a riddle when our plane went down. You mean it crashed? Yeah. <laughs> and you just walked out of the crash? Uh, well, you know, it was cruising pretty low. We are looking for Maya ruins. Maya? You know you're in Peru, right? <laughs> yeah. Long story. Oh. Thanks. Well, you don't seem like a typical archaeologist. Oh, she's the archaeologist. I'm, I'm just a cook. Really? Yeah. Have you tried any of our local ceviche yet? It's a specialty. <laughs> Not unless it grows in the jungle. No. Don't tell me you missed our famous fish trees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, a little spark, maybe? Lara feels like third wheel. Where did you take this? Um, Mexico. Why? No, I've seen this symbol before. Wow. There's some ruins nearby, and a small rock with something like this carved on it. Do you mind if I take a look around? Oh, be my guest, but I guarantee they're not Mayan. My people were Inca and proud of it. Oh, uh, uh, why don't you rest for a while? Are you sure? I promised you a day off. Well, I'm not going to say no to that. Have fun. Me too. <laughs> all right. Not awkward at all. So, are you and Lara... Friends. Colleagues. New here, eh? Get used to doing a lot of nothing. Although drinking and sweating helps to break up the day. You're not a local? <laughs> no, I work a ship that blew into some rocks just outside town. Storm came out of nowhere, sunk the damn thing. You want to make a deal? Huh. Ah, hello. Are you here with the excavation team? No, just passing through. Okay. If you need anything, the market's in the middle of town. You can resupply before you move on. Thank uh -huh. you. My pleasure. All right, so that's where the merchant is. Got it. Two years have been working up to never to ask her out. I finally do, and now, who is that guy anyway? Why is that guy hovering? In the school, when I saw that white nube negra appear suddenly. I guess I'll have to work on that.
Juan, ¿pedirás algo o solo te vas a quedar ahí sentado? Yeah, that's it, JPEG. Oh, there's the base camp. Thank God. The storm barely affected the village. The epicenter was closer to the plane. But it could have been much worse. What have I done? What if the earthquake hits here? Hundreds of people will die. I need to find a way to stop it. Got all kinds of upgrades to do here. Nice. Match grade barrel. Nope, absolutely, JPEG. Get some rest, buddy. It's all good. I'll catch you soon. Now we're talking. Oops, how I wanted to do. There we go. Yeah, see, we won't even get close. Hey, here. you want to know your way around Kuakiaku? Just ask me. Are you the local tour guide? Mm, I know where to go, and who to steer you clear of. I see. Best fish is on the dock, obviously. Tacos are best at El Licor de Cerdo, but his beer is piss warm. <laughs> I'll watch out for that. Oh, and Nomar, stay away from that guy. You don't need his kind of trouble. Thinks he can just come to town and take what he wants. Right. Well, I'll be sure to keep an eye out for trouble. <laughs> Keep them both open. Ooh, we've got an ignition available. Alright, so let's uh, head over to the market. Actually having ah, vendors. Have you seen my husband or my daughter? I don't think so. Where did you last see them? They spend their nights with the stars, sparkling and waving at me. But in the morning, they travel to the river. Oh. I usually see them shining there. But the storm muddled the waters. I know they're down there. I know they are. Not creepy at all. Oh, we found some gold. All right, let's zoom out a little bit here. See, we missed a, we missed a crypt over here. 
So I'm going to have to figure out where that was. Oh, look, there it is. There were, oh, that's where the mural is. That's what I'm missing. All right, cool. Where am I? I'm in Peru. It must weigh as much as Rick. All right, so we want to head. Uh-huh. They've been working all night. And? Isn't that what they're paid for? Get lost. It's Shit. No. Now fuck off. Let me watch the damn game. What is that? It's a douchebag. That's what it is. Sure it would be great to get these thieves out of here. Everything all right? No. It's all terrible, as usual. These pillagers come to town, hire us to dig up our own relics, don't even pay us a living wage. And then they run off with them and profit. We are all desperate here. There's no work since poor Veneer pulled out. We're sitting ducks. And I imagine a storm hasn't helped matters. <laughs> what little we had is gone or underwater. I don't know what to do anymore. I have some experience with these kinds of people. Maybe I can help. I don't know what good it'll do. Did I catch your name? Lara. I'm Victor. If you want to talk to Omar, the executive lead tormentor in charge of theft and pillaging, he's in there. Thanks. Be careful. He doesn't like to be challenged. Piss him off. Who are you? you? Looking for work? Um... Well, you're out of luck. We have enough people. Marco's in charge of HR now anyway. Oh, uh, yes, thank you. Do you know where he is? Where else? The bar. Alright, so before we head back to the bar, we're gonna come over here and look at the, uh, the market. Jonah, I found Incan ruins, but I think the foundation of the temple is older. Yeah, Abby remembered where she saw that symbol. It's inside the temple somewhere. Great. Tell her thank you for me. I'm right here. You can thank me by not breaking anything. <laughs> I'll be right there, Lara. Tony Rea, the Incan god of the moon. He was relatively low in status, so he didn't have a mate. This tells the story of how he reshaped his sperm into the form of a fruit, which impregnated the goddess Kavirka when she ate it. His pregnancy came as quite a surprise since Kavirka was a virgin. But when her son was born, the boy immediately solved the question of his paternity by crawling right towards Kony Rea. Kavirka was so humiliated by Kony Rea's low standing that she fled with her son to Peru, where they turned into coastal rocks. Huh, sounds lovely. Ah, here we go. I've got some stuff to trade if you're looking. Hello. Let me guess. Omar sent you to shake me down? Well, I'm not giving that bastard anything. What are you talking about? What am I... I'm sorry. I, I saw that knife and gone and figured... Yeah, never mind. You looking for anything in particular or just browsing? What do you have? What do I have? This is Kuwaki Yaku, one of the greatest archaeological sites in South America. Well, it could be. It should be. 
If it weren't for pillagers? Exactly. Omar and his thugs are after money, not history. I have items of cultural significance for sale. They may be damaged, but they're worth restoring. Let me show you what I have. All right. Let's see, what can we sell? So we can sell... I guess this is all... Okay, we obviously don't want to sell the cloth. The hardwood. Or the salvage. A good deal for both of us. Absolutely, Victor. Enjoy. All right, let's see what we got here. A pistol sight, pistol suppressor. Ammo pouch, machine gun rounds, silent arrows. Provides ability to craft more ammunition. Let's buy the rifle ammo pouch. Excellent choice. The pistol ammo pouch. Enjoy. I, I'm glad you're enjoying it, Plasma. I'm, I, I love the Tomb Raider series, the new one. So, I'm just glad that I get to share it with you guys. Let's see, bullets, black powder, some salvage, focus plants. I think that's all I'm gonna need right now. I don't know, the pistol sight sounds kind of nice. Let's buy that. Excellent and choice. We might as well buy the pistol. A good there. deal for both of us. Come back soon. All right. I can hear them calling from under the earth. The voices. The old gods. Maybe you just need to rest. No. See for yourself. See where the breath of the gods rises from the womb of the earth. Listen to their pained howls. I have noticed that. Where is this breath? You'll see. You'll hear it. Perhaps you can ease their suffering. All right. Nice. I guess we'll just, since we're here, we'll just go ahead and do the main objective thing and then we'll do some exploring. Because it seems like an area that we're going to be coming back to. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Victor. Hey, looks a lot bigger on the outside. What'd you do? <laughs> Try to look. Eshel and Shakshal, the twins come together. What is it? Laura, I... <sighs> What? Abby said not to break anything. I'm not breaking it. I'm restoring the original. 
someone was trying to hide it. <clears throat> the twins come together before following the path of the living. It's been tampered with. Like that thing in Mexico. This must lead to the next clue. Go. I'll stay here. See what else I can find. <sighs> Sounds good. I found the temple. Great. Damn. Trinity already there, trying to blast their way in. I'm gonna take a closer look. Those Trinity guys are assholes. Engage. The screen just starts to go fuzzy when she's running out of air. I knew there was something shiny that I saw from above. Those drones were unexpectedly heavy and sharp. Boat looks okay, though. I'm glad you're here. We have a problem. Jenny again? I'm on it. Wants us to search underwater? He wants us to search everywhere. 
Obviously, we've been missing something this whole time. Okay. Well, are we getting the Gooba coming or something? Better. Bunch of underwater drones. I wish we knew what was going on. Command, this is Dock Station. Operation Lone Wolf underway. Drones have been launched. They're five miles downriver. Signal is strong. I'll let you know if they find anything. Out. Oh, okay, let's talk to Marco. I was like, what the hell is that? That wasn't very long. Commander, we'll get things back on track. Nope, cannot Not resist like shiny objects. What's going on over at How should I know? We haven't been able to reach them. Still? It's been over an hour. What the fuck is happening? I don't know. You know why? Because we haven't been able to reach them. <sighs> We knew what was going on. I'll just keep on. Commander will get things back on track. <gasps> Something lit a fire under Rourke's ass. He's not usually like this. I love the popping noise it makes. That's just so much fun right there. Back on. Sorry. more guys something's happened I'm sure of it like to be position compromise Shit. shooter Yeah, you would think so. Unless those are piranha I'm swimming with.
still out there. There he is. If I have to look for you, it's just gonna make me more angry. When the Lord gave his covenant to Noah, saying never again will he destroy this world, it can be interpreted as he has decided humanity has learned their lesson. But have we? There is also a different interpretation to be made, and that is that he has given the agency of destruction to mankind itself. We are responsible for every living soul, and they are now tarnished and besought. It has been 4,000 years since the world saw purity, and we aim to end that. We will be the architects of the new world. We will pave the street to heaven yeah, for so. all. We will usher an end to this sinful, reprehensible world. Ah oh, yes, Trinity. Alright, so before we move on... Let's make sure we got everything over here. I think we did. Okay. Yep. Alright. I don't have enough space for that. Yeah, there's a Trinity base here. Hey, Jonah, I... What happened here? I said don't break anything. Hey, Abby, I can explain. I'll get back to you later, Lara. Don't do anything crazy. Trinity's really on edge. Still, if they're here, they're ahead of us. At least it means I'm on some sort of track. If Dominguez is right, and the sun is dying, I have to get to that box before he does. All full up. Can't carry any more. The younger Croft is more active and less cerebral than her father was. Although intelligent, she is less focused on the meaning and history of the artifacts she seeks and more prone to risk-taking. With no children or family of her own, she is free to pursue her targets, almost to the point of obsession. Although this can make her appear impulsive or unpredictable at times, we believe her drive and the balance of her personality will make her easier to influence with the promise of greater challenge and more likely to deliver results. <sighs> Any information she might have that Richard Croft withheld from Trinity would simply be a bonus. We recommend her as a strong target for recruiting. I was waiting for her to say, hell no. Any idea why we're sealing everything up? Because Commander Rourke said to hold the perimeter. No one goes in or out. I know that, smartass. But you know why? That's above my pay grade. When the recon team gets here, maybe All they'll be able up. to tell us something. Can't carry any more. She's going native. Oh, what do we got over here? 
after action report. Attention, Dr. Dominguez. Search site. Yes, Mazaruni right. River, Guyana. 5.816587 dash 59.468158. Discovered evidence of Maya migration. Upon subsequent investigation, site deemed a dead end. Actions taken. Site flooded by redirecting river. Locals recruited for labor eliminated. All trace of presence scrubbed. Other. Kick up at nearby village. Lethal response necessary. Area isolated. Site flooded. Appears natural. South American rivers rising due to climate change story seeded in media. I don't have enough space for that. Borvenir, this is Commander Rourke. Have you achieved lockdown? We're almost there. All access points are covered, and most of the barricades are finished. Almost isn't good enough. Secure the perimeter now, and make damn sure it's locked tight. Aye, sir. Uh, if I could ask, sir, uh, what's going on? Recon team is en route. Rourke out. All right. How many guys went down there? Sight lines are shit. This fucking place. What the hell's happening? went down and didn't come up. That recon team better get here soon. Shouldn't we send someone down to look for them? Rourke was explicit. No search and rescue until the recon team gets here. But it's almost been an hour since last contact. The commander doesn't abandon his people. If he says wait topside, he's got a damn good reason. This fucking place. Oh, it was a great barbecue. We even had a cold drink. Okay, the perimeter's locked down. All we have to do is wait for the recon team. Doesn't it seem a little weird to you? There was a problem underground, but we're fortifying ourselves from a threat from overland. Seems pretty standard. If something did go wrong, we should assume it could be anything. We've got the temple covered, too. I don't know, man. It still feels like we went from an amber alert in the known area to a red alert all over the place. We've been overreacting to things since that storm hit.
grave robbing. And I would say we got what we deserved. Those were good men. Are. They are good men. This is bullshit. Someone's lying to us and we might have lost some people already because of it. Calm down. If there was something we needed to know, we would have been told by now. And Rourke wouldn't lie to us. He wouldn't, but he's not in charge. Dominguez is calling the shots, and that shifty bastard's got a god complex. I don't trust him 100% either. But even though I've seen him stab locals in the back, I've never seen him cross one of us. We should send some deacons along with the recon team. What do you think happened down there? We're securing the site. Obviously somebody thinks they got attacked. By what? There's nothing down there. You sure? We were searching for something. Maybe they found it, and it wasn't what we thought. I must be going crazy. <sighs> the recon team will figure this out. I hate this site. Like some creepy ghost town. Hey, Jason. Wall collapsed. The they went down too deep. All kinds of reasons for losing contact. Gotta get two of these guys now. I must be going crazy. Yeah, problem is I don't have another bottle. I smashed the other bottle I had over that guy's head. God damn it. I hate this site. Like some creepy ghost town. Recon team will figure this out. Because now would right there would be the perfect spot for for I must Malta. be going crazy. What now? Not my finest moment, but hey. All healed up. Yeah, a two for one special would have definitely been nice. Jonah, Commander Walk is here in Peru. He ordered Trinity to lock down a dig site below an old oil well. You going to check it out? Yeah, I'll see what they found. Rourke was there in Cozumel when Dominguez took the dagger. They must have figured oh. out the next step to the hidden city. There was another one right there. Damn it. Oh well. Of course I find it right afterwards, right? 
All right. This place is clear. Why isn't she going down? There's been a bloodbath here. What happened? to get to a, a base camp so I can install that silencer on this gun. Attention, Dr. Dominguez. Possible entry point located for temple outside of Kwakiaku. Excavation equipment on Have route. a great night, Victor. Holy hell, look at all that stuff right there around town. See, I came this way, so it looks like this document is further on down the path. From death to life, new moon to full, this temple serves as guardian to the silver box. Guess there's no easy way through the fire, huh? Jonah, I made it inside the temple. I think we found something here too. Some numbers. I'm gonna clear it off. The numbers on the pillars look like the first half of dates. Isha on the left. Shack shell on the right.
third block come from so I need to be three the door. There must be more to this. Got this. Looks right. But this one. Any progress? Uh, there's an incomplete date and a depiction of Shuck Shell. I have two dates here and E Shell. I think I've seen the date on the left somewhere. The photo from Cozumel. Maybe there's a clue. That's gonna be a dash. Or whatever the long thing is.
The photo from Cozumel. Maybe that's a clue. Okay, okay, I get it. The photo from Cozumel. Maybe there's a clue. In the Maya long count calendar, all dates have five numbers. This numeral was damaged to look like a 13, but what if it's really an eight? That's a 2,000 year difference and the constellations would be in a completely different position. So the star path would lead west to somewhere in Peru. The last number on the left pillar is zero. Which is... What is zero? The last number of the left pillar should be a zero. This is the zero. Okay, Jonah. What's the final number for Shack Shell? A line across with two dots on top of it. Seven, I think. Thanks. Music wasn't a cue. That's it. on that one. Balam is the Maya word for Jaguar. The Maya idolized Jaguars for their majestic beauty and dangerous grace. Villagers would have four Akantunes, idols which they placed at each corner of the village. At night, five Balams, spirit jaguar guardians, would come to the village. One Balam would station itself at each corner, next to an Akantun, while the fifth and smallest Balam would coordinate their protection efforts against evil demons and spirits. Makes sense to me. <sighs> Jonah. Hey, Lara. It's Abby. Oh, hey, Abby. I found a mural. It seems to depict some kind of journey. Entering through a jaguar mouth follows a serpent toward a silver eye. Uh-huh. On the way, there's a spider and an eagle that rises toward a temple. Okay, I don't know about most of that, but the jaguar mouth is back this way. Really? Yeah. Cat sculpture, big teeth. Oh, here. He's back. Laura, you okay? Yeah, I'm heading back. Good. I think you're gonna like this. This describes something nearby. Two guardians have fangs. Two guardians have feet. One guardian has both to better protect me. Interesting. While on a branch, use a rope arrow to kill and string up an enemy. Nice.
This shows a basic sketch for a temple, rising from the middle of a city. If I squint, it sort of looks like a snake. Her bow go, her gun go, where did all that go? Guardians with feet. Yeah. yeah. Alright, here's the guardians. Feet. Both. No? Where did I say? Two guardians have fangs, two guardians have feet, one guardian has both to better protect me. This will be useful. Fish are the predators.
I didn't miss anything back there, huh? <laughs> that would suck. Anybody else make it? Fuck the final. All full up. Can't carry any more. This was written by an explorer in the mid 20th century who is looking for a lost city. He discovered a small trading post near the base camp, run by a woman named Kwama. He asked her if she knew any old stories which might help them find the lost city. By the time he wrote this, the explorer was near death and convinced she'd misled their expedition deliberately. Damn. That's fucked up. <sighs> Base camp, this is Omicron team. We've been ambushed. Base camp, come in. <clears throat> Anything? Quiet. I need to hear. <clears throat> I still can't. Holy Christ. They're here. Come on, you bastards. What are they so afraid of? Mm. 
Impossible. I can't carry any more. Man, I gotta use that focus thing more often. Or at all. I lost my radio in the crash. Tell us what happened. All I saw. <laughs> Claws. <laughs> Teeth. That's helpful. Hey, some consideration here. They hit us. Just screaming. Bones. It's over. You're safe. <laughs> we don't belong here. <laughs> Hey, that one gamer girl, welcome to the stream. All full up, can't carry any more. I don't have enough space for that. Guys, get a little bit closer. No, nope, not gonna get any closer. Die. What 
How do I stream the Xbox on YouTube? I have oh, a creatures. video capture card in my computer. There has to be a way out of here. Maybe in the direction they came from. Full up, can't carry any more. I don't have enough space for that. Damn, full up on everything. Ah, nice old plane. Bodies everywhere. The creatures killed them. But why? Jonah, Abby. Hey, Laura. I saw something. Trinity is being hunted by some kind of creature. What? It made hissing sounds and moved so fast. Laura, that sounds like the legend of the Pistaco. You pulling our legs? No. I know what I saw. Are you safe? Yeah, I'm on my way back. She should definitely have a bigger backpack. Search team report and findings. Central and South American Division. Attention, Dr. Dominguez. Mexico. Cozumel, Temple of Shakshal discovered. Site closed and scrubbed. Brazil. Atishi Matari region. Dead end. Site closed and scrubbed. Team moved to Trinchiera Bacaha site. Mandaruku region. Search inconclusive. Trouble with government. Suggest closing site. Awaiting orders. Trinchiera Bacaha region. Progress made with local tribes. Investigation ongoing. Peru. Kuakyaku. Temple discovered. Research ongoing. All right. Let's see, what do we got now? Probably fill up on these too, yep.
but there is nothing moving around. And destroy five sacrilegious jungle totems. Nice. Yeah, I can get back up there if I need to. Let's take a look at our map real quick. came from this way so we've got a monolith that's our quest there got a tomb and some documents all right quite make the dialect out. That's why it was lost. So we're gonna head over here. shot them. Fair enough. Why is there no animal life on here? Hmm. One more. I'm not even bothered with all the plants. Need a rope ascender. Okay, so don't think I'm gonna be able to do this one just yet. Ooh, yay, map updated. Secrets revealed. Have I missed anything so far? I don't think so. Oh, that's, yeah, that's the, I need to stay over here. Treasure chest, which I won't be able to get into yet, probably, because I don't have the lock picks. All right, let's see if I can't move forward in this, probably not. Yeah. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Need the rope ascender. But I found my last target for the challenge. <laughs> Alright. some big fucking arrows. Might as well, right? Oh, 
Nope, full up there. Let's jump back over here. See where we can attach this. Up there. Don't mind us just climbing a rope. Yeah, Plaza, I'm about to wrap it up myself. Have a great night, buddy. I'll catch you soon. This is a promotional model of an oil derrick made out of cheap plastic and copper. There is a logo for a company called Paul Veneer on the base of it. That's what I always stash in the middle of the jungle, right? Yeah, so we can't do that tomb yet. Oh, this is the village. That's what we're getting back to. Okay. I don't have enough space for that. Hiding right here. This is a little bit unusual. It shows herds of sheep, llamas, and goats. But one farmer wouldn't usually tend three distinct herds like this. That one llama, alone on the hill. That must be Urkachile, the Incan god who watches over animals. Urkachile was often depicted as a llama. This is a dedication from all the local herders to the one who protects their flocks, thanking Urkachile for the preservation of their livelihood. All right, fair enough. Thank you, Urkachile. Thank you, Cirque du Soleil. Now, where's this base camp at? Oh, there it is. Ooh, I got three skill points now. Which one do we pick up over here? Eagle's Talon. Well, on a branch, use a rope arrow to kill an enemy. And hide their corpse in the canopy. That's cool. Maybe we'll try the Viper's Lure. That sounds kind of cool. Why not? Select the bow. Hold RB to craft lure arrows. Requires a silent arrow, cloth, and venom. These arrows attract nearby enemies and detonate on proximity. A nerve glass gas cloud.
I don't, I want the suppressor on the uh I didn't want it on that gun. Oh well. Now I don't have enough salvage. It's all right. Gun's pretty close to matching that one, and it'll have the suppressor and the sight on it. So when I get that thing fully upgraded, and it has a better yes, felt girl. I will definitely be streaming that tomorrow. Matter of fact, we are at a great location to call it a night since we're at a base camp. Um, so yeah, I will be streaming uh, tomorrow. I probably won't be able to get started till about seven o'clock or so, uh, just because uh, I had to run some errands. So I left uh, the office early today, so I was able to get started around six. So, so yeah, it'll be closer to probably seven o'clock tomorrow. But I will definitely be streaming this for part three of our playthrough of shadow of the tomb raider so i want to thank all of you guys all five of you still hanging out with me vault girl have a great night plasman uh no you already went to bed so uh everyone else that's out there in uh, chat land you guys have a great night and i am going to get this thing saved and go hit the sack so vault girl have a wonderful day tomorrow and i will catch you tomorrow night thanks guys and until next time, Tube Raiders, you take care of yourselves out there. This is Draco Invictus saying this has been the greatest day of